today we're going to cut out a clarinet bag. And what we've got is we have a pair of fabric scissors, a sharpie, our pattern templates, two pieces of inside of the inside cotton. This is what's going to be the inside of the bag. Two pieces of flannel. This is the inside of the sandwich between the inside cotton and the outside cotton and two pieces of the outside cotton, which is the school colors. In this case, we're doing a vines bag, so it's purple. So what you're gonna do for the, for the bag is you make a, you're gonna make two stacks. You put the outside cotton layer down first. Then you put down the flannel. And you want that extra to be at the top because that's going to be the drawstring channel. There should be about two inches of difference. Just smooth it, smooth it out. If you can line up one edge, that's great, but you are going to trace over it and cut it out. Lining up one edge actually just helps you make sure that you've got all three layers cut under there. So just pick a side to line it up in case one of the pieces is wider. In this case our flannel is wider than our outside cotton. So we're going to line it up there and on the bottom and that makes sure that we've got everything covered. And then we're going to just smooth it out. We do have a little bit of wiggle room, so don't stress too much about it. And then we take the inside cotton. Same thing. It should be line the top of the inside cotton with up with the top of the flannel, even if it hangs over the bottom a little bit. And again, line up the one the same edge you did before. So that's where you're going to line up the template. got our stacks made. Again, we've got the outside cotton, the flannel, and the inside cotton layer in that order. The inside cotton facing up. So we're looking at the inside of the bag, the two sides of the bag. Okay, so we're going to choose one of these to be one side and one to be the other. We're going to line up I'm going to move this so that it's sideways so that you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. You want to line up the dotted line on the template with the top edge of the inside cotton and flannel. The top edge of the template should line up with the top. In this case, our inside cotton and flannel are up a little too high, so I'm just going to tug them down just a little bit. That just makes it easier when you go to sew that drawstring pouch to have the two inches up there. And then you're going to line up one edge with that edge that you lined all the fabric up. Now you're going to take your Sharpie, you're going to trace around the outside of the template onto the inside fabric. and at the edges of the outside fabric where it sticks over. Make sure you don't shift the template while you're tracing around. Now, on one of them, you also want to trace the holes. Now it's important that you trace the holes 
so that it says the left hand hole and the right hand hole, but you notice the left hand hole is on the right, the right hand hole is on the left. That's because we're looking at the inside of the bag. When we flip the bag over, they're going to be in the proper position. So once we've traced it all, we take it off, and there you see the outline of the bag. Make sure everything's smooth again. And now you're going to cut around the outside edge and cut on the inside of the line so it's exactly the same size as the template. And cut through all three layers at once. All right, so there we go. It's all, the one side is all cut out. We are not cutting out the handholds. They will get cut out later during the sewing process because we want to stitch around the outside to secure them before we cut them. So now just fold this in half and half again and put it aside. Now you're going to take your second stack and lay it out same way you did your first. You're going to take your pattern and you're going to flip it over because you want this one to be a mirror image of the first. Again, line up that line with the top. Adjust it if you need to. Line up the one side. And again, trace around the outside. This time we are not tracing the handholds because on this side of the bag, this is going to be the outside of the bag, so we don't want any holes on the other side of the bag. So this time when we lift it off, all we see is the outline. But it's, rever it's just the mirror image of what we had on the other. And again, we're going to cut it out. Cutting on the inside of the line so it's the same size as the template. And cutting through all three layers. And there we go. We have the other side of the bag and the front side of the bag. So again, I'm going to fold that up carefully so they stay together. Fold it like this. I'll put one on top of the other and then fold them in half. And that way they'll stay together when we give them to whoever's going to be doing the sewing. Or if you're going to do, it the, do the sewing but maybe not immediately, you can just put it aside and they'll stay together. Thank you very much.